everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I figured we'd go out for a little ride today. Have a little chat. And the topic I'd like to discuss is one that draws quite a bit of controversy on the Indian Scout Bobber Facebook and forums. And it all centers around a question that's been asked a lot. Will a 180 tire fit on my bobber? So this topic has, I bet, been seen just, in, just on the Facebook group alone. You know, <laughs> I don't know, 400 times. Let's give it a crazy big number. And primarily because Indian, when they release the bobber, the rear tire is a 150. Now the one thing you got to think about when you talk about the size of that rear tire is unless you're doing some modifications to the controls, you know like you're swinging them up to a mid control or something like that because they're, they're forward controls, uh, the lean angle on the bobber is 29 degrees. So, you know, for all intents and purposes, the 150 tire uh, is just fine. Um, you know, where people start to get a little, you know, upset about the 150 tire is usually for vanity purposes or, you know, aesthetics. They don't like the way the 150 looks. They want a wider tire. So, I figured I'd take this chance and I would give my opinion now this is just my opinion I'm not an expert in any way shape or form I've ridden a lot uh, but you know it's an opinion one you can use and choose to throw away or not so the tires on the Indian Scout the bobber are 16 by three and a half front or the wheels rather 16 by three and a half front and 16 by three and a half rear stock off the showroom floor it's a 130 front and a 150 rear so the question will a 180 fit on my rear tire the answer is people have done it however buyer beware when you look at proper tire fitment on motorcycles they there's they're you know set at that specification for a reason and you know with the bobber only having a three and a half inch you know width on the rim your options are kind of slim now you can go and put a 180 on there no problem a lot of people have done it um, and I do know that a lot of people, when they try to do it, they have a uh, hard time with, you know, getting the bead to seal properly. And sometimes people do it and, you know, bam, it, see it seals just fine. So my take on it is this. Will I put a 180 on my current uh, rear wheel? The answer is no. And I'll give you my reasons. My reasons are this. The specifications are there for a reason. I tend to be a pretty aggressive rider. So when I get out in the twisties, I actually ride, I ride this bike. I grind the pegs left to right all the time. And my biggest concern about putting a 180 tire on here is truly whether or not I'm gonna get that proper seal on the bead. I mean, could you imagine the horrific sight of me pouring into a turn and stressing that seal that's set on that bead and it just come off. That's my biggest fear. Maybe it's, you know, a stupid fear, but that's my biggest fear. So for me, it's, you know, all about safety. You know, I'm already out here doing something that's kind of dangerous. I'm on two wheels instead of four. You know, I ride kind of fast from time to time. So I'm already putting myself at risk. So the answer really is, do I want to risk even more? And for me, the answer is no. 
Now, I will join everybody in saying I do not like the way that 150 looks on the rear. I mean, for such a muscular bike, the 150 is kind of out of place. So what will I do? Well, um, to kind of put it bluntly, not a whole lot, right? I mean, the only thing that I can do, and I did some research on this, I can go move to like the Avon Cobra tires. And the Avons have a 160. And I looked at the, at the uh, wheel fitment, and a 160 will fit just fine. A uh, 160's got a three and a half to, I think, four inch um, wheel size recommendation. So, um, that's most likely what I'll end up going with, is a 160. Now granted, it's not gonna look a whole lot different. Um, be a little bit wider, may look a little bit better. That's kind of where I'm at. The other alternative, and um, I'll share the video, but there's a guy on the uh, out on YouTube, and he's on the uh, forums, or on, out on the Facebook group, and he's uh, JFast. JFast uh, went and bought some Victory Octane wheels and put those on. Now those are a direct fit to the Indian Scott Bobber. They just slap right on. Um, now they're hard to come by. Like I don't know um, you know how easy it was for him to come by those. Um, but I've looked and they're they're not easy. So I'm gonna have to be digging around and looking to see if I can find some. But those would be my first place. I would probably go and try and see if I could find some uh, Victory Octane tires uh, if I wanted to go 180s in the rear. Um, the other alternative, which is a far more expensive alternative, is to go buy that um, giant 240 kit that is sold on the internet and put that on. Uh, that's pretty expensive, um, so that's probably not something I'm going to do. So my choices are 160s that will fit that 3.5 inch rim or uh, the Victory Octane wheels. So that's kind of my plan. Um, now we'll see. I got to see if I can find some, see how much they are. Um, but hopefully I can find them and that's uh, that's the, the, the path I'll take. So to sum it up, can you put one on there? Can you put a 180 tire on the rear wheel? Yes, people have done it. I will not. And my purpose or my reason for saying that I will not is all to do with safety. Just not interested. Don't want to run the risk of causing a problem. You can go with the Victor Octane wheels if you can find them. Um, or put that 240 kit on. So those are really your options. So, you know, whether you ask everybody what their opinion is, you're gonna get lots of different opinions. Um, do what's right for you. Stay safe. And uh, we'll see you later. Now, if you like this video, you thought it was helpful, and you enjoyed the banter, hit that like button, punch subscribe, and uh, ding that notification bell, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side. See you.